Hey guys, GP Mushrooms. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to put together your 10 pound mushroom log. Now, I'm pretty excited for the customers who bought this kit because you're going to get such impressive results when it comes to mushrooms. On average, you will always get one and a quarter pounds of mushrooms on your first flush, and it's a very impressive grow. Uh, right here, I'm doing pink. I know it's not labeled, but you're gonna, with your kit, you're going to get two bags of substrate, two bags of uh, mushroom spawn. You're going to get your hydrate lime, your, your poly tubing, and two twi or two zip ties. <clears throat> All right, let's do this, you guys. All right, for this project, you're going to need a pot, a pretty decent sized pot. Now, what I like to do is just do one one bag at a time. You'll see what I mean by that. But one, one good sized pot, a good mixing spoon. Um, you're going to measure out five and a half cups of water, cold tap water. You know, from your sinks, perfectly fine. And then you're going to put in a, a level teaspoon of uh, hydrate lime into your water. And go ahead and mix that up. So it's already set and ready to go. Alright, let's do this. Now basically, it's just basically repeating the same steps as my 5 pound mushroom kit. Pour your substrate. Now I'm just doing one bag at a time. I mean, if you got a bigger container for mixing, go ahead and double up everything. You know what I mean? Now you put in two bags of mushroom substrate, and you're gonna measure out 11 cups of water. You're gonna use uh, two level teaspoons with a hydrate lime. And go ahead and do it in a bigger container, but I like to do it one bag at a time. So, five and a half cups of water, and one bag of substrate. Go ahead and pour that in. And uh, go ahead and give it a good mix at first. You know, just try to get everything into the water. I mean, the Cotton seed hulls aren't going to do, you know, submerge very well at first. But what you want is basically the wood pellets to get submerged in the water itself. Because the wood pellets are always harder. They need time to soak. It takes a few minutes, you know. Just kind of soften them up makes it a lot easier to do the whole thing. And I'm going to put that pot to the side. Alright, now let's do prepare your bag for your, your mushroom log. Like I said, I'm very excited for whoever gets these. You're going to definitely enjoy the grows. Now, if you look at my other videos in my description below, you'll see a 10 pound mushroom log that I did. Princess Pearl. Uh, of course, you know, one and a quarter pound of mushrooms. But, you know, I grab one in your bag of your, your, your poly tubing. Just grab one in, kind of bunch it up. Grab your zip tie. Go ahead and stick that on there. Now, I always give a pretty good excess, excess amount of plastic. You know, but make sure you put it on there good and tight. Because, you know, it's got a whole 10 pounds of you know, mushroom substrate. Now, go ahead and put your bag to the side. And let's stir. Alright, well, like I said in other videos, this is the cold pasteurization process for growing mushrooms. You know, I've been doing this for well over 15 years now. This is definitely one of many techniques for growing mushrooms. It's my preferred technique, only because you can work out in the open. You know, you don't have to worry about, and because, you know, there's contamination. All There's flying, there's contamination flying all around us, you know, molds, yeasts, and, you know, it lands on your substrate. And what we're here making here is a, a, a perfect grow, grow medium for that kind of stuff. But since you got the hydrate lime there, it raises the pH of the water. So it kills anything that's landing on here. Needless to say, you can work out in the open. You don't need any fancy equipment. You know, you don't need flow hoods. You don't need steamers. You don't need any of that stuff. And you're gonna just the same mushrooms as everybody else. In fact, this process is a lot faster too. You know, normally back in the days before the corona hit, I would you know do about 50 pounds to 100 pounds a week of mushrooms using the same process but clearly I would do it in bigger you know a tub I would do usually 10 blocks at a time 10 times a day you know and there we go it's already looking really good good and mixed up all right now I'm going to go ahead and put in my pink Mushroom spawn. Now, you're going to see plants growing in this because this is the cold pasteurization process. 
and in the substrate there are seeds from other you know from the other you know from the cottonseed hulls and the soy hulls which is no big deal just uh, if there's any plants growing out of the holes that you place in your bag pull those plants out the rest of the plants behind the plastic are just going to die now go ahead and just give your your mushroom spine a little toss around it don't have to be a good hard stir or anything like that you know the better spread out it is the better it's going to colonize for you now a lot of times people get my product and they're like oh such bags small bags of spawn but trust me this is plenty of spawn this is more spawn than i use for my for my own mushroom blocks all right so that's one bag all right let's go ahead and start loading the bag now all right, now we'll go ahead and start loading this bag. The thing I like about this poly tubing is, is once you start pulling it up, it's going to stand up on its own, which is really nice. It's going to hold its shape, so you don't need a, any special container. And of course, I got my measuring cup for my scooper. Of course, the first few scoops are always uh, more difficult. But yeah, congratulations guys. Uh, this is going to be an impressive grow for you guys. For anyone who's never done this before. Uh, Princess Pearl is a really good one for this. You know, for mushroom logs. Pinks, you know, this basically any mushroom strain. <clears throat> you know, it's all about mushroom, you know, energy. Or, like, there's more energy in a 10-pound block or a 10-pound log than there is in a 5-pound log. So you're going to get bigger mushrooms. Uh, another thing you might want to have set to the side is uh, you're going to need uh, some scissors. So you can stab holes into your, your poly tube. This plastic's 4 mil, so it's really, it's really stout plastic. Now I'm going I'm to knock it on the ground just a little bit. Kind of flatten the bottom a little bit. There we go. Um... Sorry, I'm always getting so thrown off when I'm saying all the time, you guys, but this is an easy process. Just make sure you look at the description down below for, like, how to fruit your mushrooms, uh, what temperatures to fruit your mushrooms at. You know, I got the temperatures down there. Like, right now I'm doing pink. Uh, it's got a pretty good colonize or good color, uh, fruiting temp. But the colonization temp for your, your 10 pound log is going to be between 72 to 77 degrees. 72 to 75 is very optimal when it comes to letting your block colonize. Alright, we got to do this step one more time guys. Alright guys, like I said, you got to repeat the process one more time. Like I said, I, I do it you know, one bag at a time. You know, of course you can do it in a bigger container, mixing bowl. Just do it all once, put it in your plastic. And now, I know I don't make the best videos in the world, you guys. You know, that's no secret. But, you know, the one thing I can do is show you guys how to grow mushrooms. Because that's something I do well. I've been doing this for well over 15 years now. Um, like, so this is the cold pasteurization process. All you gotta do is repeat this whole process. You can get everything you need, probably in your area. And if not, like uh, soy hull pellets. I like to get my soy hull pellets from uh, mushroommediaonline.com. Great service, great. I mean, they got everything you could possibly possibly want. Wood pellets, soy pellets, pressure cookers, so much. Yeah, and it's actually a really good company. Uh, I like their, I like dealing with them. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Um, now, nah, I guess I'll give a stir while we talk. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I don't make the best videos in the world. But, you know, after your block is put together, you're going to put it someplace where there's indirect sunlight. That's fine. Someplace dark. It's even better. Um, and then you're going to let, like, the pinks, they're aggressive. You know, they'll, this block will be ready within two weeks. You know, of course, I'll show you guys the results of uh, pinks. Uh, now, let's say you are doing blue or princess pearl, it'd be three weeks before those were ready to, uh, you know, to uh, fruit. 
and of course I'm gonna repeat this again I can never say this enough because I've noticed a lot of customers that seem to never look at my description and you know for the other information that I provide for those because I know I skip a lot and I bounce around a lot <laughs> so I'm trying to cover everything for you guys uh, after you uh, let your block turn fully white that's when you uh, start misting it after it's fully colonized of course if you look in the description below yet again you'll see what I'm saying there's other videos to show you the the whole process okay this one's ready too now I'm gonna put my other bag of pink in here and give it a little toss around You know, honestly, this process probably doesn't take too long. It's probably just 10 minutes overall. It never takes long to do any of this. Give it a little toss around. You know, try to hit those corners. You know, because sometimes I've noticed there's soy pellet buildup in the corners. And you really want it to get it spread out pretty nicely. Okay. Now, let's put this in here. Just want to make sure you guys are can see everything you know i got this fancy tripod but i can't seem to work the darn thing save my life only because the my phone wants to fall out of the holder okay and like i said you're gonna notice plants growing behind the plastic the ones that grow behind the plastic don't worry about those uh, the ones that grow out of the holes go in and pluck those off there and now you're not going to spray these until these are fully colonized you know, um, and that's when you're going to start fruiting it. <clears throat> you make sure you write down the date on your block so you have a general idea when it's, you know, it's ready to be put in your fruiting box, you know, which I call my box tech. And there you go. That is a 10 pound mushroom log. You guys are going to really enjoy this. This is going to be a, I'm going to try to give a good price on these. I really am, you guys. I, I do try to be very competitive in my prices. You know, like those other places. All right, I'm gonna hit this on the ground a few times. If you wanna pack it in there. But yeah, the other companies, you know, they offer these fancy kits, but honestly, they don't, they're not as big. Now, of course, you get your other twist tie. Make sure you pack in your substrate fairly well. I hope you guys can see all this. Now I'm gonna grab my scissors. You wanna you wanna stab a few holes in this at first, you know, to let the air out so you can pack the substrate better. Okay. I usually do four. Uh, that time I did three. But you wanna pack it in there really good. And give it a good twist. Now you don't want your plastic loose on your substrate. And what's going to happen is if, if your plastic's loose on your, your uh, against your substrate, the mushrooms are going to grow in random spots behind the plastic, and you don't want that. You want the mushrooms to start growing right out of the holes that you put in your block. Now, put my zip tie on here. Well, needless to say, welcome to the world of mushroom logs, you guys. I'm, Actually, really excited. I can't say that enough. You know, to see everybody's express expressions when they get the mushrooms off these things. All right. Now, if you want, you know, you can cut the cut the excess plastic off here if you want. You know, it's kind of knocking down a bit. Uh, you can cut the zip ties off a bit. You know, shorten them up. You know, tidy it up a bit. Okay, now you want to finish putting holes in your, your mushroom log. Okay, all right, I did three here. One, two, three. You know, uh, when you stab your scissors into it, make sure you stab all the way in there because you want, this is a tough plastic. You really want to make it easy for the mushrooms to push through this plastic. I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, be amazed. Mushrooms will push through almost anything. Now I'm just doing three holes all the way around. All right. 
And one more time. Now, the mushrooms are just going to grow out of the holes that you put in your block. So, uh, go ahead and write down the date and what strain it is. So, this is pink. And today is the 18th, I believe. Yep, the 18th. February. Now, like I said, place this in place where the temperature is 72 to 77 degrees. 72 to 75 is optimal. Uh, indirect sunlight is perfectly fine. And um, darkness is better because when you, know, when you initiate the fruiting of your mushroom block after it's fully colonized, that's when you're going to spray it. Indirect sunlight is like part of the, the thing that initiates the mushroom growth. Uh, but you know you'll find you'll find more information on my in my description below. Sorry I rattled on so much. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please contact me, and I will do a, a little update once this mushroom block grows, so everybody can see what an impressive grow it is. All right. Anyways, you guys, thanks for your time and mush on. Okay, guys, one more time. Now that my block is. It's already made. My 10 pound mushroom logs already made. I'm going to put it someplace where the temperature is between 72 to 77 degrees. 72 to 75 is optimal. Um, indirect sunlight is perfectly fine. Darkness is even better. So you're going to set this to the side. You're going to put in that little special spot that you got made for this. And within three weeks, this block will fully colonize. Within two to three days, you'll probably start noticing white patches starting to form behind the plastic. That's just the mushroom mycelium starting to well, mycelate the substrate. And then after three weeks, it's going to be fully white. And then that's when you're going to go ahead and initiate growth. And when I say initiate growth, that's when you go to my description down below. And I want you to look at my box tech. You're going to put this in a box, and that's when you're going to proceed to mist it with water. Until then, just let it set and let it colonize. All right, guys, congratulations uh, on your uh, mushroom log. I'll see you then.